the preparation is going to be the thing that separates you out from that other pro person. So how do you how do you get yourself prepared? Well, you prepare yourself for the next day. Start prepping for it with your meals. It's hard to wake up one day and just be great. It's hard to wake up one day and just be ripped. It's hard to wake up one day and just be strong. When opportunity knocks, don't answer the door in your bathroom. We need to be prepared for the things that are going to happen. We need to be prepared for training. We need to be prepared for school. We need to be prepared for the day. We need to be prepared for life. We need to be prepared for success. You have to prep yourself if you're trying to be good at something. You have to prepare yourself. If you wanna lift big weights, it's a long progression. It's a long story. It takes a long time to be good at lifting. It takes an even longer time and a crazier dedication to be great at lifting. It takes everything that you have to be good at something and it takes that much more to try to be great. The good news is those who seek will find and those that give will receive. It's a very simple concept. Those of you that have been givers your entire life, you're about to embrace and about to embark on some good because some good will come of it. <laughs> you may not know why you're doing certain things, but you may not always understand what the reasons are. So how do you, how do you get yourself prepared? Well, you prepare yourself for the next day by doing what's needed on that particular day. A great way to show that you care about uh, your next day. If you have a meeting the next day, get yourself prepared for it. Let's say you know that you're gonna go to the gym at eight o'clock and you're gonna train. Well, you need to start prepping for it the day before and you start prepping for it with your meals. You start getting ahead of it. Think about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is a great example of all this. Bodybuilders prep their food and now more than ever, powerlifters are prepping their food and crossfitters are prepping their food. Why? Because if you're not prepared, then you prepare to fail. You're, you're accepting bad. You're accepting that bad things will happen because you're not ready. When opportunity knocks, you need to be ready. You need to be ready to go. You need to be ready to rumble. And the only way that you're gonna be ready to go and ready to rumble is if you take the time to prepare yourself. The preparation is going to be the thing that separates you out from that other pro person. And you can control a lot more things in your life. I'm hearing people all the time telling me that they're, they're uh, depressed and that they have anxiety. And there are some people that have some really hardcore conditions uh, that are overwhelming and that are very hard to overcome. But for the most part, when I hear a lot of people talking about anxiety and depression, they can handle a lot of these things on their own. A lot of things can be handled through diet, through exercise, and through being prepared, preparation for each day. If you had a string of bad days, my first question would be, what have you done to prepare for a good day? Or have you done anything at all? The preparation for a good day starts the night before, the day before, two days before, three days before, the week before. Be more in control of yourself. Too many people are living their lives out of control. They're spending more time out of control than they are in control. Staying in control is going to be something that can lead to success, lead to happiness. Too many people are spending their life out of control, spending too much time out of control and not in control of what it is they're doing. It's just that people are looking for an excuse to be out of control for a while. When you feel the resistance of life, push back into it. Lift it with extra force. When you feel life's resistance coming at you with 400 pounds, put 500 pounds into it. Push back. Don't be like everybody else. Don't walk like them. Don't talk like them. Don't be like them. Be made out of something different. In order for you to be made out of something different, you have to be prepared. That means you have to do stuff earlier than when it's actually going to happen. Do some soul searching. If you are in search of something, 
you will find it. If your why is so powerful, it will outweigh whatever the how is. You won't even ask how. People are, people are uh, oftentimes too weak-minded. Too weak-minded to even be prepared for the things that are coming their way. You have to be willing to accept that things will be bad. Things will be shitty if you're not prepared. And you have to accept the fact that things will be great when you are prepared. And you can think about how thankful you are that you prepped for the day, that you're prepared for the day. He who is overwhelmed is distanced and crushed. Don't be crushed by the weight of the day. Don't be crushed by the weight of life. When the late weight of life gives you that resistance, push back. You already know how to do it. You've already been training your whole life for it. But be prepared, be ready. Be ready for what life has. Train through it, lift through it. Get out in front. It feels so much better to be out in front than it does trying to catch up with everybody else and trying to worry about what everybody else is doing. Just trust me on this, you will feel better. Depression, anxiety, all your fears. Fear is something that you can control if you're simply just prepared. If you're prepared, you'll be in control. You'll be more in control. There are certain things that you don't have control over, but there's a lot, there's a lot that you have control over. You won't need to get ready if you're always ready. So be prepared, be ready to go. Stay prepared, stay out in front, stay in control. You'll have less pain, less anxiety. You'll be more in control of your life. The more in control you are, the better success you will have. You don't have to be a control freak about anything. You just need to be in control of yourself. You have to talk to yourself. You have to have self-talk. What is this going to look like if I treat this person this way? What if I just tried to do it? I know people say, you know, it's do or do not. There is no try. But you don't get any effort at all. You get no results if you don't try. You have to try. You have to start things. Thanks for listening.